This video will provide a demonstration and description of the Divi Bike Share application developed by Alex Jasper, Lucas Tranchita, and Kenan Artis for Geography 461. Bike Share services are essentially a citywide bike rental service with stations located throughout the city where citizens can check out and drop off bikes. With this information in mind, we developed an interactive, map-based, geo-visualization application capable of displaying multiple variables in a spatio-temporal context with respect to Chicago's bike share data. In other words, this application will aid users in understanding the usage of Chicago's bike share system from a number of approaches. So the data such as station popularity and renter demographics could be visualized with respect to time and location. In particular, we envision this application being useful for food truck operators since depending on circumstances such as time, traffic, and bike station popularity, they may want to bring their business to different parts of the city. We looked at January 1st through April 1st of 2017 and specifically in Chicago. We felt that riders will be seeking food upon the completion of their trip and that is why we feel that food truck operators are the best bet. Oliviera et al. 2016 analyzed spatial patterns and statistics of bike share data for New York City. They set the following criteria for analysis. To identify stations that become bottlenecks in the system, verify the influence of city life changes and events on the behavior of the bike shares, understand how the distribution of station roles change throughout the day, and to compare dynamics of the system at different periods since its inception. By the end of their project, they were able to produce a series of maps and charts that helped give a general breakdown and understanding of bike sharing in New York City. Overall, they were able to determine what areas of the city became popular during specific times of the day and how the roles of specific bike share stations changed with time. Zhao did work concerning bike patterns in Chicago. His goal was simple to understand patterns of bike sharing in Chicago at a large scale with respect to space and time. The data is currently lacking due to a sheer volume of data available for bike share, but he realized this and wanted to analyze this. By narrowing his air areas of focus to smaller neighborhoods and utilizing a series of algorithms, he was able to glean plenty of statistics and information on the bike share data. With that, he was able to find the most and least popular times for bikers, bike ride duration, and statistics specific to bike share stations. Our team recognized that while there were many studies analyzing data, most did not visualize the data or allow for an interactive experience. Our team developed our Divi bike share application, which is shown here. As the application loads, you can see that there are three main components to our application. In the top left, there's a heat map showing the bike share data. And in the top right, you can see there's a core plef. And this is a visualization of the percentage of riders in each block group of Chicago. In the bottom half of the application, you can see that there is a cross filter, which utilizes a brushing histogram. In the maps, you are able to zoom and pan, and it will simultaneously update on the other map. You can then go to a specific zoom level to get a better representation of your data. We designed the cross filter to be a brushing histogram to allow for the user to explore the data. Say, for example, that you're a food truck operator who wants to look at lunch rushes in Chicago. You can come down to here and highlight the hours of 11 to 1. You can then go down here to the date range and see how people were using bikes from that range and then get a better representation. You can see that as you change the hours, the heat map changes. And then as you add more days, the data becomes more similar. Down here, where it says trips selected, you can see that we had a very large data set, over 431,000 trips. That is why we gave the user the ability to filter. You can come over here to the About the Project to learn more about 
why we developed this, some of the demonstrations that we went off of, and the, uh, the producers of this app. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please contact Alex, Lucas, or Kenan at the appropriate email addresses, and we'd like to give a special thanks to Dr. Yang and Dr. McEachran for their help and guidance throughout this project.